Hey there, Randy Walker here and wanted to talk a little bit about media press conferences. I just saw a press conference with the reigning US Open golf champion, Matthew Fitzpatrick, and he was uh, doing his pre-event press conference uh, before his uh, defense of his US Open golf championship. And they asked him about the controversial live golf PGA Tour situation and asked him a tricky question and he kind of sat there and thought about his answer and then he said i'll pass which was just such a great answer because you're not obligated as a professional athlete to answer every question that is presented to you you can respectfully say i don't want to answer that question i respectfully don't want to answer that question and that brings up some other instances that have happened recently in tennis uh, at the 2023 French Open Championships. Uh, Arana Sabalenka was um, asked uh, some controversial questions or some uh, you know, serious questions regarding uh, her stance on the Ukraine war and her nation Belarus being involved with Russia. And uh, you know, she kind of answered a little bit uh, you know, skirted around the answer and so forth. And then uh, after that first press conference, she chose not to go to press and uh, the authorities in tennis uh, allowed her and gave her a pass uh, to go to not go to the press conference, which I don't think is a good uh, precedent. I think every professional tennis player after their match should be obligated. It's their responsibility to meet with the press after each match. That's part of the promotion of the sport, etc. But you should take a page out of what Matthew Fitzpatrick just did in golf. If there's a question that you don't want to answer, you can respectfully say, I don't want to answer that question. Um, you know, there's that famous uh, press conference with uh, Marshawn Lynch from the Seattle Seahawks football team. And he said uh, that he uh, didn't was only answering his questions because he doesn't want to get fined. I'm, I'm here just because I don't want to get fined, you know? So, I mean, like, that's certainly a crude way for you to uh, answer a question that you don't want to answer at a press conference. I mean, that's kind of the extreme, but you can also just say, you know, I don't want to answer that question, etc. And also in lieu of that uh, U.S. Open press conference in golf, uh, the U.S. Golf Association uh, official in the press conference uh, then interrupted uh, another questioner who wanted to ask a question to Matthew Fitzpatrick about Live and PGA Tour. And she said, questions only about US Open golf, please, which, you know, is just, uh, just getting the press conference along to what the subject matter is at hand. So kudos to that USGA uh, uh, publicity official, press conference moderator, you know, to make sure that the appropriate questions were asked. I mean, certainly uh, the media have a, uh, a, a right to ask any question they want, um, but uh, you don't want to get it get too out of a hand, especially if uh, the uh, the golfer or the athlete doesn't want to uh, go down that road of questioning. Of course, the athlete can, you know, use a press conference as a a bully pulpit to you know say whatever they want about whatever subject in the world that they want to talk about, or they can choose not to. So, anyway, um, I thought that was uh, an interesting. Uh, uh, comparison of uh, golf press conferences and uh, tennis press conferences. So uh, Randy Walker, over and out.